I'm out in the forest today. We're at a really high elevation on the mountain and I'm in a new spot that I haven't hunted before, but I'm out for some king porcinis today. I've heard that they're up on the high elevations. We're gonna check it out. Hopefully we're gonna get into some porcinis. So let's get out and have a good safe hunt. Let's go. Out here in the in the forest and uh, walking through this this meadow if you will and we've got noble firs grand firs some really really big uh, trees up here and I found a king check it out you guys see it hiding under there look at this puppy right here oh yeah oh yeah Yes, we found the spot. Oh, hopefully that's not the only one. Let's keep going. Let's check this out, guys. This is not a king. This is a Amanita mascara. Poisonous, hallucinogenic, depending upon who you talk to. So we're out here walking in the high country. We got grand furs, noble furs. There's a lot of amanitas out. Seen a couple of uh, slippery jacks, but I see something over here that I'm not sure what it is. Let's go, let's go check it out. Look at that big old beast over here. I don't know what this thing is. Probably. Oh, whoa! I don't know what that is. looks like probably some sort of rusula but i've never seen rusula with an orange inside i'll just put it back we're too high up for lobsters but that was kind of a cool mushroom i don't know what it is but a cool mushroom we're just gonna leave it because it's way past this prime anyway so let's uh let's keep going but i tell you what i'm feeling pretty good so far that first king we found a beast so we're going to continue along this edge of this meadow here and hopefully we're going to find some more so let's keep going so we're walking in between these meadows and grand firs and the noble firs these are noble firs here they got round almost like a bottle brush type of uh, needles but the uh, grand firs would be more flat but I see something up ahead. Oh, check this out. Do you see that monster over there? Oh my goodness, I really hope that's a king. Look at this beast of a mushroom. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> What a absolute brute of a mushroom. Oh my goodness. Oh, I am so happy. <laughs> Holy cow. So I'm starting to think that there's a relationship between the Amanita mascara and the spring kings because check that out look at that little amanita mascara down there and then over there i see like three or four shrimps that are just popping out of the ground and i really hope that some of them are kings this one is definitely not this one not this guy probably is not either based on these are just brown brown rustlers 
Okay, so maybe there's not a relationship, but the last couple kings that I found have all had Amanitas around them. So, I don't know, maybe, just me, but it could be a little tip for you. So, take it as it is. So, I'm seeing lots of fresh animal sign, lots of, lots of poop, mostly, mostly deer and some elk. But I just saw a giant one that was for sure a bear. So if you're up here, you know, this is a likely area to maybe see a black bear. They're not going to chase you unless you come between a mama and her cubs maybe. But carry whatever kind of protection uh, you feel safe with and able to use and practice with it. Whether it's bear spray or firearm, hey, you do you. And feel safe and confident. Make sure you know how to use what you have. So. Just a little tip. You know, when when I'm walking through the forest, you know, the way I approach an area is I'm, I'm constantly looking, both out in the distance, right in front of me, and constantly scanning. And I'm walking slow, I'm walking with a purpose. The biggest mistake I see new mushroom hunters make is they go too fast. It's not a race, it's not a sprint. We're not hiking, guys. We're out here looking around for anything that's out of the ordinary like this this looks like a bone from an elk i don't know if it's the shoulder or leg part of the leg bone i don't know definitely a bone could use that for a shovel but anyway so you know take your time you're gonna miss out on so many mushrooms and just enjoying the moment and being out here in the forest and just you know decompressing and taking it all in and once you get your eyes tuned to the mushrooms you're going to start seeing them provided they're there but if you go fast you're going to miss a lot of things it's also a lesson in life if you go too fast you're going to miss out on the most 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 important things so you know take it from me Slow down, go with a purpose. Make sure you, you feel good about what you're doing. All right, let's go find some mushrooms. See something up here that looks like it could be a baby king. Let's see what we got here, mister. Oh, it feels kingy. Oh, hello. Hello, my little friend. Still walking, trying to head back towards the car, walking a different path, and I see another one. Look at this, look at this. You guys see it. How about now? Oh, this one is gonna be the big one of the day. Hello, friend. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's a little ma mature, but dang. Hello, sunshine. This day just keeps getting better. There's a storm coming, but hopefully we're going to beat it. So, whew. this is awesome. So sometimes when I'm out here mushroom hunting, I feel like I can sense the mushrooms or they're calling me. I know it sounds weird, but it's coming down this trail and the trail split. I could go right, I could go left. And I chose to go to the right. And about 10 steps later, look what I found. Check it out. Look at this beautiful, beautiful king right here what a beauty however look here's his brother right next door so you're out on the mushroom trail looking for a way to go 
you may go with a decision and just stick with it. If you end up in a dead end, just turn around and go back and go the other way. But these are two beauties I would have just missed, but not today. Thank you.